Tonight, Nevada is moving forward with a new direction for reopening amid COVID-19. No new closures from the governor and no changes in enforcements. But there is one big change we're talking about. No more phases for reopening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Well, 13 Action News reporter Joe Bartels right now is live near the strip to explain this new strategy here, Joe. Yeah, Todd and Trisha, this is a much different approach than what we've been under for the past five months or so, that phased in approach. Now the state moving toward a more local approach to try and get the state reopened. To put it bluntly, the time for education is over. The masks are supposed to be on, but the gloves are coming off for enforcement on businesses and people who don't follow the rules. Businesses, Nevadans and visitors should all be familiar with the expectations of reduced indoor capacity required face coverings, and social distancing. We are close to five months in. No more excuses. The governor says the phases are going away and will be replaced by a long-term plan that focuses on flexibility, moving from industry-wide shutdowns like gaming, casinos, bars, and restaurants to targeted and local county containment efforts, especially on individual businesses who allow face mask violators or do not follow social distancing guidelines, all of it based on data. My goal is to soon look within these counties, counties to see if there are certain municipalities or certain zip codes we need to target more specifically with mitigation and or enforcement act measures. The governor says weighing the need to keep Nevadans healthy versus economic collapse and massive job losses is a tightrope act. He says the next weeks and months ahead depend on social distancing, hygiene, and people wearing face coverings. Those who want to keep our restaurants, gyms, and other activities open can do their part to make this happen. Those that don't will be the ones responsible for further restrictions. And the governor expects to release some more information about this new plan starting on Monday. The governor also calling a special session this week where lawmakers will head back to the Capitol to discuss certain items such as the evictions and the pause on evictions based on unpaid rent, as well as how people will vote in November either by mail or in person. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. Joe, thank you. Well, the governor's news conference also stirring up some controversy. Governor Sisolak calling out people who refuse to wear masks or think it's a joke. Some of the municipalities, and I'm going to be very candid, it's not a joke. This isn't a joke when somebody's wearing a doily on their face and says that that's a mask. Or another uh, city council person says, well, I don't want them coming into my area to mom and pop businesses and closing anybody down. Well, they know what the rules are and they need to be treated the same way as everybody else does. The violators need to be punished, and those that are following the rules need to be rewarded and allowed to keep open. Well, that reference uh, certainly got the attention of Las Vegas uh, Councilwoman Michelle Fiore. Now, she tweeted this picture out earlier this month, calling the face covering a mask along with a caption with a sexual nature. Now, Fiore released a statement tonight, and we have her full comment on our website at ktnv.com. Well, also tonight, the city of Las Vegas is also responding to the governor's comments about enforcing safety and face mask protocols. I'm tired of educating. I'm tired of ambassadors that deal with this stuff. I'm tired of information officers. I need enforcement officers that are going to go out and punish the bad guys and not punish the good guys. The city of Las Vegas issuing a statement on Twitter saying in part, we take the governor's directives seriously. Last week, we worked to put another 100 people in the field to step up our enforcement efforts. Our compliance ambassadors are added eyes to help our enforcement officers. They are concentrating on businesses and on sports fields.